Hey everyone who loves movies, today let's talk about a classic film from 1977. It's full of interesting, surprising, and sometimes sad facts. Before we get into it, think about which old-time Hollywood actor you like best in this movie. The movie we're diving into is Orca. It's about a vengeful killer whale causing chaos. It's a gripping story with lots of surprises. As you watch, keep an eye out for unexpected twists, and don't think it's all about action in the water. So, who's your favorite old Hollywood actor in this movie? Share your thoughts with us, and hey, we want to hear your stories too. Tell us about your favorite memories or experiences with this classic film. There's more to learn about Orca, so stick around. We'll share fun, surprising, and even sad facts. Your opinions matter, so drop us a comment. Can't wait to hear from you. Keep watching, keep sharing, and keep those memories coming. The 1977 movie Orca made a significant impact in popular culture when it was released. While it didn't become as successful as some other films at the time, it left a lasting impression. Critics and audiences had mixed feelings about the movie. Some liked its thrilling story and impressive special effects, while others thought it was too similar to another famous sea creature film. Despite the differing opinions, the movie managed to find its place among creature features. Its portrayal of a vengeful killer whale resonated with audiences, tapping into primal fears of the deep ocean. This added a unique twist to the genre, setting it apart from other creature-centric films of its time. In the years after its release, Orca inspired a few spin-offs and adaptations. Although none matched the original's recognition, they kept the story alive in various forms of media. The movie also gained a small but devoted fan base who continued to celebrate its impact on popular culture. Merchandise related to the film, like toys and posters, became collectibles among fans. Despite not reaching the same commercial success as some of its peers, Orca left a lasting impression on popular culture. Its influence can still be seen in references and homages in modern media, showing its enduring presence in the world of cinema. The setting resembling a remote polar region of Labrador was constructed in Malta by designer Mario Garbuglia. Following the success of the 1975 hit Jaws, Orca was one of many fish story films that failed to match its predecessor in terms of drama, critical reception, and financial success. Despite being based on Arthur Herzog Ify's novel, the novelist was not credited for his story. Orca, released in 1977, is a movie featuring a killer whale that wreaks havoc upon ships and men. The film posters described Orca as a powerful creature ruling the ocean with terror. Two sea vessels, named Bumpo and Happy Hour, are seen in the movie. It belongs to a series of films produced after the success of Jaws in 1975, including Jaws 2, Jaws 3D, and Jaws the Revenge, among others. These movies capitalized on the theme of aquatic terror popularized by Jaws. Orca, like its counterparts, presents a narrative of fear and destruction, with the titular whale as the formidable antagonist. Richard Harris, though satisfied with his involvement in the movie, expressed regret for passing on a role in Ingmar Bergman's The Serpent's Egg. During its debut at Fox Village Theater, Dino De Laurentiis, the executive producer, visited multiple times, hopeful for success surpassing Jaws. However, dismal earnings soon dashed those hopes. De Laurentiis lamented loudly to the theater manager, questioning why audiences didn't embrace his creation. Captain Nolan, portrayed by Harris, bears resemblance to Captain Nemo from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Director Michael Anderson, known for adaptations like Around the World in 80 Days, later helmed a TV movie version of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The 1977 movie marked the debut theatrical feature film of Bo Derrick. Interestingly, the vessel in the film shares its name with Quint's fishing boat from the 1975 movie Jaws. That orca was named after the only natural enemy of the great white shark. Notably, the movie was released the same year as its source novel. Directed by Michael Anderson, the film explores themes of revenge and the complexities of nature's balance. It follows a vengeful whale pursued by a fisherman seeking retribution. The narrative delves into the depths of the ocean's dangers and the consequences of human arrogance in the face of nature's fury. The film's gripping storyline and memorable performances captivated audiences, solidifying its place in cinematic history. In the film's closing credits, special acknowledgement is given to J. Barry Heron for his significant photographic contribution. The term Orca Orsonus, derived from Latin, translates to bringer of death in English. This zoological term is more accurately referred to as Orsonus Orca. 
At the start of the movie, two captive whales are depicted using camera tricks to appear as though they are in the wild. However, their collapsed dorsal fins reveal that they are indeed captive. This is a common trait among captive killer whales as opposed to those in the ocean, which typically have strong and upright dorsal fins. In 1977, a movie gained attention for its ads, which talked about a smart creature seeking revenge. The story is about a killer whale and its quest for vengeance if its partner gets hurt by people. A famous actor, then 46, had a big part in the film and did his own risky stunts. He chose to do this movie instead of working with another famous director, which he later regretted. The ads for the film created tension around the killer whale's revenge plot. The actor's dedication added realism to the film but came with dangers. His decision to pick this movie over working with a renowned director haunted him afterward. So, the movie Orca, released in 1977, tells a story about a vengeful killer whale. The actor's risky stunts and his sacrifice for this movie add depth to the story. In 1977, a film came out that echoed the theme of people facing off against big creatures, similar to Jaws. Luciano Vincenzoni, a famous Italian screenwriter, tried his hand at producing with this project, which was the only time he stepped into that role. The film used trained orcas from Marineland of the Pacific and Marine World Africa SA for key scenes. They also used realistic rubber whale models, which caused concern among animal rights activists. Thinking they were real, the activists tried to stop the fake whales from being taken to the set. The conflict between people and nature, shown through the trained orcas and lifelike models, added depth to the film's story. This movie stands out in Luciano Vincenzoni's work as a producer, showing his diverse roles in cinema during that time. In summary, 1977 saw the release of a film where people faced powerful forces reminiscent of the Jaws era. Luciano Vincenzoni, known for writing, tried producing with this project. The use of trained orcas and realistic models, despite opposition, made the movie more engaging. This unique production showcases Vincenzoni's varied roles in filmmaking during that period. In the 1977 movie, the killer whale character was brought to life using animatronics. The filming locations included the coast of Malta and Newfoundland, along with stock footage from Marine World in Redwood City, California. The stock footage featured two captured killer whales named Yaka and Nepo, both caught in 1969. Nepo passed away in 1980, while Yaka lived until 1997. Early in the film, a shark was used, captured by the well-known shark hunter Ron Taylor. However, the focus of the movie is primarily on the animatronic killer whale. There's an interesting anecdote about Richard Harris, who reportedly began drinking heavily on set after seeing a tabloid photo of his wife, Ann Turkle, with a younger man. Allegedly, he considered drastic actions, but was deterred after getting into a physical altercation, resulting in another person getting a black eye. The movie's production involved various challenges, from creating realistic animatronics to dealing with the complexities of filming on location. Despite these obstacles, the film managed to capture the imagination of audiences with its thrilling storyline.